The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine must not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating katabi. Just to acknowledge each other's presence. Salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating misa. To our online parishioners, your prayers are also with us this morning. And we continue the theme of particularity or concreteness. As Pope Francis would call it, the humility of concreteness. All the gospel readings that you will hear this week, first week of Advent, they will be preparing us towards the incarnation or the fullness of the concreteness and manifestation of God. Yesterday, we heard about the humanity of Jesus, the human sense of Jesus to feel the hunger of the people and that he would not want to dismiss them without feeding them because they might fall on the way. Concrete gesture of kindness and gentleness and compassion. Today, Jesus is giving us another angle to that concreteness or particularity of his revelation and manifestation. And he says, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, can enter or will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who are able to do the will of my father, like a man who built his house on solid rock and not on sandy ground. Not everyone who confessed their faith shall be saved, but only those who are authentic in their lives there is consistency in what they say and what they do building their faith on solid rock doing not just confessing concrete action and not just promises and words dapat daw po sa sinasabi sa atin nakikita nararamdaman hindi lang pinapahayag. At yun po ang isang bagay na masasabi nating nangyari at ginawa ni St. Ambrose of Milan. He was a man of the world but transformed his world. Just in case you don't know the, our saint for today, St. Ambrose of Milan, let me just a little discuss the life of St. Ambrose. Kasi siya po yung pinakmagadang halimbawa ng isang taong nagtayo ng kanyang pananampalataya sa matatag na pundasyon at hindi lamang sa pananalita. He started that way. When he was born in the 4th century, St. Ambrose, according to the story, nung siya'y pinanganak, dumalaw ang laksa-laksang mga bubuyog at iniputan siya No, ng, uh, ng bubuyog and in his mouth his father found a uh, honey a drop of honey coming from the bees at ang sabi nung tatay niya nako ang anak ko magiging madaldal ito 
sweet tongue when he grows up. And indeed, he became like that. He became a powerful preacher. That time, they called them rhetoricians. People trained in rhetoric. Yung mga rhetoricians po in the 4th century, sila po yung present day lawyers po natin. Sila yung mga abogado nung panahon na yon. Ano yung mga rhetoricians? Magaling mambola. Kagaya ng mga abogado. Sorry po, sama. <laughs> mga bagong abogado. Magaling sa salita. Magaling magpaliwanag. Magaling magdepensa ng mga argumento. That was the life of Ambrose. And he became a prefect and governor of a territory in Milan. He became a governor, a civil leader. He was a man of the world. But he was also interested in the faith. So one day, nag-attend siya ng Misa. At that time, kasagsagan po ng Arianism. I don't know if you're familiar with Arian. Arianism is a heresy in the church which says that Jesus was just human and not divine. And Arianism was spreading like wildfire in, in, the, in the church and all over the empire in the kingdom. So napalitaan ni Ambrose yun. Ang sabi niya, hindi. Hindi pwedeng tao lang si Jesus. Naniniwala siya na si Jesus ay Diyos at siya ay Panginoon. So he got interested in that topic, being a lawyer that he was. He was beginning now to, bakit? Bakit sinasabi ni Arius na tao lang si Jesus? By the way, there is a sect right now who is also uh, professing that kind of faith. So, Ambrose. He got fascinated with it. So one time, nagsisimba siya. Biglang nagsigawan yung mga tao. Kasi at that time, namatay yung bishop, yung pare, ng Milan. And now, the Arians, the heretics, are invading the churches. Nakita ng mga tao si Ambrose na nagsisimba. At nagsigawan ng mga tao. Ambrose Bishop Ambrose Bishop Ayan. He was He became a bishop By popular acclamation Nagsimba lang Ginawang obispo Baka ngayon dito May sumigaw dito ha um, Baka gusto niyong maghanap ng bishop dito ngayon no? And Ambrose said, I'm not even a Christian. I'm not even baptized. And right there and then, a few days later, Ambrose was baptized, confirmed, became a bishop all at once. And what a story he had when he became a Christian. He became a defender of the church against the Arians. He defended the churches so that the churches would not fall into the heresy. And he became a bishop, bishop that was so well loved by the people. And one day, there was a young man in attendance in his mass. The name of that young man was Augustine. And he was so impressed with this bishop. Because before he became a bishop, he was a lawyer like him. Augustine also was a lawyer. He was a rhetorician. And he was so impressed with this bishop. Kasi sabi ni Augustine at that time, yung mga pari na yan, wala, hindi marunong magsalita yan. Hindi marunong mag-argumento yan. So, Augustine at that time was looking down on priests because they said, mga, wala namang alam yan. But when he saw Ambrose, he said, this guy is different. Matingnan nga. So, the beginning of the conversion of Augustine. But when Augustine was asked, anong dahilan bakit ka nagpa-convert at maging kristyano? Ang sabi ni Augustine, dahil dyan, sa mama na yan, kay Ambrose. Not just because of his words. Yeah, he is impressive as a preacher. But I'm really more impressed by the manner of his life. You know Why? the concreteness of the holiness of Ambrose was because he was a governor before and had plenty of money. 
when he became a bishop, he gave everything away. Everything that he had, all his possessions, all his properties, he gave them to the poor. He preaches in the pulpit with power, but he goes out to the poor and helps them. Gives away everything for them. Live a very simple life. And that impressed Augustine so much. Sabi ni St. Augustine, This bishop, he's so powerful when he preaches. But his life is even more powerful because his words are supported by actions. That's why we can say Ambrose is a man of the gospel today. He built his faith not just on words, but in his daily charitable actions, by his daily compassionate kindness, generosity towards others. Beautiful story of St. Ambrose, St. Ambrose of Milan. Sabi ni St. Ambrose, one of his famous sayings, it is better to save souls than to save treasures. It is better to lead people to Christ than to save money. It is much, much better to save souls than to save treasures. And he showed that in his life. Ang kanyang buhay ay pagmamahal sa mga maralita, paglilingkod sa nangangailangan, habang siya din ay nagsasalita at nagpapaliwanag ng pananampalataya. May we all become like Ambrose. Let us build our, our house, our family, our household on solid ground. Not just of words, but also of daily acts of kindness, of compassion, of generosity. Sa Milan po, because that's our first stop, and let me end here. Doon po sa Milan, kami po ay nag-pilgrimage, just in case uh, nabalitaan niyo po. Last November, we were in Milan, and the first church that I said Mass was in the church of St. Ambrose in Milan. Interesting experience. Dahil nung nasa Milan po kami, nadukutan po ako. Naglalakad po kami, isang grupo po kami, uh, mga 50 po kaming pilgrims. O di syempre, dahil marami kayo, di ka naman naghihinala. Pero nadukot po yung aking passport, tsaka yung aking wallet. Wala akong kamalay-malay. Hanggang mamaya, may isang bata na lumapit. Sir, this passport could be yours. Ang napakagandang bata, teenager. And she was telling me, this passport is yours. Doon ko lang nalaman na wala na pala yung wallet ko tsaka yung passport ko. The miracle there, the miracle was the thief gave me back my passport and my wallet without touching in my wa anything in my wallet. Binalik yung passport tsaka yung wallet. Siguro nakita nung bata na uh, batang kya po, <laughs> na pari yung may-ari ng passport, siguro na-touch. Siguro siya, kasi pogi yung nakita niya doon, <laughs> binalik niya yung passport. Tapos siguro yung binuklat niya yung wallet, nakita niya 20 euro lang. <laughs> Kawawa naman to, walang pera to. <laughs> binalik yung wallet. But as I was saying, as I was reflecting, I was reflecting on that. I was saying to myself, kung $1,000 ang laman ng wallet ko, tapos na yun. E 20 lang. O di binalik, siguro sabi ng bata, kawawa naman yung mama na to, walang pera. Balik mo nga yung 20. St. Ambrose interceded for me in that church. Maybe St. Ambrose was telling me, oh, Father Jason, you are in my place. Sagot kita. St. Ambrose is a person, a bishop, who lived a life of, of consistency in his faith. He was a lawyer, very good in speech, in defense, 
of arguments. But he was also so simple and humble that he would always reach out to the poor and the needy. Friends, that is the best combination in life. When we are able to articulate our faith and when we are able to live it day by day. Let's be like Ambrose, build our faith on solid ground. Salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. To our online parishioners, thank you for praying with us. Tomorrow, Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Three Masses po tayo, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 12.15. And the following day, December 9, will be our Advent Recollection, 5 p.m. Mass, and a Recollection. We prepare ourselves spiritually for Christmas. We will also have a healing prayer through the relic of San Isikel Moreno and Santa Maria Goretti after the Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.